shocking story tonight you're going to see only here on PIX11. A Long Island woman tied up in a web of confusion and mistrust ended up in a psychiatric ward. Thanks for staying with us on this Thursday. I'm Tamson Fidel. I'm John Muller. The bank executive says she was held against her will. PIX 11's Nicole Johnson joining us now with more details. Nicole. Well, John and Tamson, it's an ordeal we frankly found hard to believe. So we checked out Cam Brock's story, and what happened to her may surprise you, or at least raise some questions. He held on to me, and then the doctor stuck me in the arm, and then I was on a stretcher, and then I just woke up to them taking my clothes off, specifically my underwear. And then I was, I went back out again. When I woke up the next day, I felt like I was in a nightmare. I didn't, I didn't understand why that was happening to me. What was happening, Cam Brock says, was troubling. Very troubling. Her ordeal spelled out in this lawsuit filed in federal court. The bank executive claims she was arrested, committed, and held against her will here at Harlem Hospital's psychiatric ward. But why? How did this nightmare begin? It started uptown in Harlem. Brock cruising in her BMW, music pumping, when suddenly an NYPD officer pulled her over. He said, why are you driving without your hands on the wheel? And I said, I was just dancing. I'm at the light, you know, and he just asked me to get out the car. Brock was detained and taken to the 30th precinct. She says she had no idea why. Were they questioning you? What was going on with no, you? No, they didn't question me at all. They just put me to sit down. And I was watching everyone else go through the normal, you know, being lined up, being uh, fingerprinted. I didn't get any of that. I was just waiting. After a long wait at the precinct, Brock was released. No charges filed. But she was told to return the next day to pick up her car. That's when things took a dramatic turn. It started when she showed up here at this police substation instead of the precinct. The lawsuit claims police reacted with insults and disbelief that Brock could possibly own a BMW. I just felt like from the moment I said I owned a BMW, I was looked at as a liar. They put me in handcuffs and they said because um, I need to just be in handcuffs and they're going to take me to my car. So I said, okay, whatever it's going to take to get to my car. Then EMS approached me. And they said, you know, we're going to take you to your car. And I'm like, in the ambulance? I'm going to a car in, my, in an ambulance? I'm going to my car in an ambulance? I was just so confused. She took that ambulance to Harlem Hospital. And you're in handcuffs. In handcuffs, in the emergency room. And then at that point, when I realized what was happening. Brock was committed to the psych ward at Harlem Hospital. They forced me to take medication. PIX11 obtained Brock's hospital records from her attorney. The doctor's diagnosis, Brock suffered from bipolar disorder and psychotic behavior, a claim Brock's attorney disputes. She has absolutely no history of mental illness, okay? To brand her as being mentally ill for the sole reason that she claims to own a BMW, which she in fact owns, to claim that she's a businesswoman, a banker, which she is, is something that is absurd. That medication was lithium and powerful sedatives. Brock spent eight days in the hospital and released. And to make matters worse, the lawsuit says the hospital slapped her with a more than $13,000 bill. And I'm like, why am I here? You know, oh, because um, you're a danger to yourself. And I'm like, how am I a danger to myself? I was just trying to get my car. That's all I was doing. Brock's lawsuit, which names the city, the hospital, and unnamed police officers, is playing out in court. The NYPD confirmed Brock was taken into custody, but said it could not comment further. The city's law department, which handles lawsuits filed against the city, would also not comment pending litigation. Meantime, Brock admits she was frustrated about not getting her car, but says she never gave them any reason to believe she was unstable. Tamson and John, back to you. Just a really incredible story there, Nicole. I'm uh, sure we'll hear more. Thank you. Yo, I like to make a top of this video. It's dress to make top of this video. And the video I just speak about, while I wait till everybody wait, which, by the way, well, pretty much top of the video based on what I speak about uh, this uh, grown black woman named Camelia Brock, something like that. Camilla Block 
forced into the psyche war for eight days because the police officers didn't believe that she owned a BMW, a popular, popular top notch car, a brand new top notch pricey car. Alright, so the topic we all like to speak about this. Uh, so basically, what she's saying and whatnot, what, what, what they're saying and whatnot, that she was like driving with her BMW and she was like stopping it at, 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 the, at the red light, things like that. And she was while, while she stopped at the red light and she was dancing to the music, wherever it may be, and the officer rolled up to her BMW and saw her dancing while the light was was red, whatnot. So he asked her, "Why you dancing? Why you got your hands you know, at at the at, at at the steering wheel?" And she said, "Well, you know, uh, well." Why not? You know, my my hand. You know, you stop it at the red light. You know, why not? Stand, stand, stand a little bit, and then, then when the green light occurs, and then you go. So the officer like, well, step up, step up, step up, step up the car, ma'am. Things like that. So, you know, open, open the car, whatnot. They along the way, they bury the officer. They bury him to Camelia uh, Block. If I say that right. She stayed, they didn't tell her uh, why she was for and and you know they didn't tell her what it, what it's gonna do to her and whatnot. So basically, man, that, that she 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 ended up um in, 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 into the psyche war. But before that, all, all that happens, her car got deported. Uh, they told her, oh, pick up your BMW the next day, probably if I. If I if, Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, whatnot. But it's the next day, and uh, so the next day, she come there, she pick up a BMW, what whatnot. But all of a sudden, to to get keep trying trying to get straight to the point, she uh, you know, they pretty much trying to uh force her put her put her in, in, in the in the nut house, or the crazy house, or the second war basically, and uh. Oh, uh, because mainly because they didn't believe her having BMW. Oh, you, you, you black it. Ain't no way you have this type of car. Ain't no way you have this type of car. This car too pricey. It's too pricey. It's cost too much. It's cost way too much. So ain't no way you can. Put, ain't no. Um, I'm just shocking. Just shocking to me. Ain't no way a black woman can buy this type of BMW. A, uh, a pricey car like this. No, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. No. There ain't no way. I, I can't. I, I won't believe that. I won't believe that. I'm, I'll push you there because I can't believe that. It's impossible to me. Yeah? I don't care if it's possible. But it's possible. <laughs> that part of the, the, the police officer at that particular time last year. Uh, probably, probably saying something like that. So, so, so pretty much, I'm trying to get, trying to get straight, straight to the point that uh, they, they labor her by by pulling all that and the so called fake ass mental illness. Oh yeah, and another thing, uh, the mental illness that shit is, 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 is fake as fuck to me. I mean, I mean, anybody can be labeled a, a bipolar and and, and, you know, and schizophrenia and all that whack ass shit. That that only a goddamn thing. Um, any any person could be could uh could be uh, angry, pissed off, and and, and the and all that. That only a goddamn thing. And, and another thing, that's all that all that labeling. Uh, people with mental illness, in case might be, this going to use that, this going to use that against you. That's that's what it was, <laughs> that that was that was we mean. Um, if you if you look deeper and you do your, you do your research, if you, if you can find it. But yeah, man, that just use says to just just to label people so they can just credit them and whatnot. So I mean, it's weird than day, you know. Um. I mean, also another thing: those who control the psyche war, those 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 who control the psyche, um, the, the the things like that, these the same motherfuckers to be 
be starting be starting starting uh, problems with uh, with the population and whatnot. Do you do you say some people? Uh, do these type of people who adopt into that white supremacy backwards racist mindset? These 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 the type of people who own these type of uh uh just these psyche wars in, in the nut house or what you want to call the crazy house where we fuck the boat. So pretty much, man, she is like a banger, by the way. She's a banger, um, you know, she in a, a power position of the banger. She said that Obama, the president of the United States Corporation, Obama, Barack Obama, Barry Satoru, what you want to call him, <laughs> that she said that Obama had followed her on Twitter. She could prove it. Police, police want to hear all that. Oh, impossible! Oh, now you, now you, the car, and now you said the the president Barack Obama was fighting on Twitter. What? I, I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to see it. I don't care. You speak the truth. I don't care. I'm no, no. I'm gonna put you in a slammer. I'm gonna put you in a slammer. Go put. <laughs> sad man. Fucking sad man. I mean, this is this is just another case of a uh, police state, man. This is just another sample of police state. This is a sample of motherfuckers, uh, why you, why you like to call it or not, abuse their power just to put somebody in a slam because they don't like them, or because they scared of flashing, it's a, it's the opposite of them, of their, uh, scared, scared of flashing, or they wish it to them, they're better than them, or they had, or their car too flashy, or, or, or they had a fast car, or they have a, a classy, professional, a pricey looking car, or they had this, or they had that, and put them in slammers, or put them in just all because they're better than them, all because they did some third one, and then and, and, and the hate on the and hate and the dusty, all that. Sad man. I mean, I mean, cook his ass officer do do these things that should lo lose their job, you know, that's a long time ago, and then and then and the also she had to wear that motherfuckers be doing this shit on purpose, or whatnot. They should not be able. To uh, have a job, to 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 become a police officer nowhere else, or in the country or things like that, because I think there would need to be come to the point to whereas, to, to that standpoint, well why not? Because you if you gonna have the uh, cookies ass cops doing these things, why not? I mean, yeah, and keep doing these things, why not? Release just release them or their their the job position. They ain't doing that job right, and then they keep. Do, keep doing the doing this West Squad. Well, why not just revoke them to to, to not to not, not be able to become a police officer no more? For those who keep on abusing their power and flush their power and all that whatnot. So I miss with man, and I miss with man. I mean, I mean, hopefully she don't kill herself like that. I mean, I mean, hopefully she don't do nothing like that. Like, yeah, man. I mean. This this is the little case or the little scenario that happens for uh, for Kalimia uh, Brock pretty much. Uh, I mean the sad situation, man. I mean it's weird and day, man. Now you gotta be extra careful. You can't <laughs> you can't be dancing a little bit while you at the wear while you at the wear light. <laughs> you had dancing a little bit. You had you had, you had the driver's seat. Sad, man. I mean you can you can you can you can like. Just feeling yourself at, 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 at like a, a split minute at, at the west stop at the middle of the street, chilling a little bit for a minute. I mean, I don't, anywho, that pretty much it. Like, life first try to come within the standpoint of Camille Block for it to the psychic war for eight days because the police officer and police had to be able to, like, another thing that charged her 13 grand. Just, just for his so-called far false accusation and whatnot. So you know, uh, but poets, fuckery things like this happen every year, man. Fuckery things happen every year. So, uh, black and African more people is is, is under attack. I already make a video about something. Something I might I might drop the video about that one. I might drop the link about it, say something about the video. Something called like if you got if you black and you got color in your skin, you you automatically talking about white supremacy system. So you check the video you like to, but that pretty much shit right there that, uh, sad, man, sad, yo, man, you, you better know the system, how the operates right now, but that pretty much shit right there, like, subscribe, comment, that, that's trying to put my few cents in this one, um, 
What's up, man? What's up? What's up? That's my shit. Thanks for listening. More coming soon. More coming soon. More coming. More coming. Real soon. Real quick soon. Real quick soon. More coming. Wild away to forever. Next time. Wild away to forever. All right.